through the smoke though, and Snacks pre-aims it. It's the only angle they would have had to see, so Snacks reads it very well. And then the Molotov limits C's movement, and Edward has to wait toward jungle. This gives them a decently forward stance in the post plants. Miali's just gonna wait back. No one needs to face, they'll let the reconnaissance be done. By that of Snacks right now. Taz has fallen back. It looked like he wanted to get aggressive, and that's the right play, but Guardian's still gonna catch him. It's Pasha inside this smoke. Oh, no. He's on it. He's got the knife. No. Up. No, he can't find it. He realizes, though, and sees, turns back to take him down. He nearly gets the holder back on top of it. Oh. Max is gonna get him, though. And have they bought themselves enough time? It's Neo, a third person on the fuse, a third person down. But there's still enough time. They still get in quick enough, and they're just barely gonna get it. It's 16-14 oh for Na'Vi. What a round that was. The BXQ comes in. It's a perfect play as well. They get the first frag onto the bomb site, and what is this? I'm believing. You're, you're a bit of a believer. Would you suggest that you don't want to stop believing? Yeah. Why don't you cast around? Okay, tags up. One. He's gonna get. Oh! oh! I'm starting to believe as well, Henry, because he's gonna take a flame. Oh! Zeus saving the day for Na'Vi, but could you stop? He's actually got away with it. Zeus is out of the round. No way. No He's my actually God, won Fallen the round. Has done this. I thought Zeus Well, it's going to have to be three rounds in a row here, and Molotov's coming out there, running in with the Tech Nines as well. They've got a lot of grenades, but Fnatic just shutting them down. Look at the spray here as Flusher picks up two kills. It's all on Carrigan. He gets one. He gets another one. Nice headshot. And Pronax is very low. If he can just hit one bullet, it might actually work out. Carrigan now with the quad looking for one more for the East, and it's Crimson Kitchen. And Carrigan, he's not quite sure. He's got almost no chance of knowing, but he's got so much time. That the advantage that Crims had a while ago of knowing exactly where Carrigan was, it's disappearing every second that passes by. Never mind that the bomb is in B. Carrigan is playing a very, very long game, a long con here, and he, he's got a lot of experience to do it as well. The question is whether Crims actually catches on to this. He's getting into a bit of a tricky spot. Yeah, he's completely changed his angle up. Now he's protected. If Carrigan comes from short, yes. But. Kerrigan spots the gun. Oh, wow. Sneaking close, the smoke is up as well. And it's gonna help Cajun stay hidden. Kiyoshima walking on the box, sprays and takes him out. And now, the plant, where is it for? This Molotov's gonna land right on top of Kiyoshima. Can he stay alive? Three, two, it's gonna go through the defuse. Here it is, 15 rounds! And enemy, they pull it off in spite of Kiyoshima burning alive. Did he have three HP when that went off? Literally the last tick of that Molotov. That's twice with TSM not having enough time to defuse this time. NB with three health left. Oh, <laughs> around. I, I, I. Oh my god, three HP. We're gonna get control of this A side. Team Dignitas got the smokes down to cut Cloud9 off, and in fact, they're going for huge plays to the free! Triple spray runs through the smoke into CPL, and that shatters the defense. Cloud9. In a two on four. That bomb plant's already been happening for quite a while here. So Hiko and Sean, that's a good kill from Hiko, but they realize Dupree's still in there somewhere. They're gonna try and go for it here. They wanna go all in. Hiko comes in with another kill and back to a two on two. That bomb so far ticked. They gotta move quick right now. They're going for it. The defuse is already happening. Hiko, are you kidding me? He's gonna go for it. They win the round. Hiko fix him up. That's one round disadvantage. Bomb is being planted on Optimus Prime gonna smoke off as well but that does actually give flamey an opportunity for a 1v1 situation exactly right and he spots out the remaining man as well so there you go some initial damage dealt he does have a kit but he's down to one hp he steps out gets the headshot onto happy it's now down to smith and he does he realize he goes to the pistol does he realize just how low it is happy and smith lose it in the end and flamey just the hero for navi this tournament he survives 
with one HP. And you have to wonder if that smoke ruined Envious because it stopped their trade frag situation. It killed their own crossfire. I don't even. And now, well, do they go for the force? I think they do. They have enough money. So Envy, that means 12-12 the situation. I mean, that, that smoke, yes, but I'm wondering, why did they peak initially? Yeah, why did Happy P get caught out? Why did he could have just been hiding behind that van waiting? Yeah, if he could hold it, if he could hold an angle onto the other side of the truck, exactly, assuming that there's going to be no push through the smoke, then they still have a crossfire, but they're gambling that he doesn't push the smoke. But that doesn't happen, and uh, shot themselves in the foot there. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of a mistake that is definitely Ooh, going made. to rattle. And Look wow, we'll talk about rattling, man! Made. The teeth in their skull, envy, man. Go to the dentist; you're going to need it. Three people on the site though, but can they get cut down? Flamey's got a trade frag here as Yuse goes down. Shoxi falls as well. There goes Kiyoshima. Only happy remains here. And Envious are in a horrible position. A horrible position indeed. Four versus one. No bomb for happy. And uh, not much hope either in this particular round. Uh, Flamey is just dominating at this point. Quad kill for him this round. He's even looking for the fifth one. He's going to make it this ace potentially. Happy does manage to chase his, or fall back rather, off a of short. Flamey was far too close. Not sure if he got spotted there or not, but basically this round is pretty much it. This this round is one for Navi. Flamey just looking to get the wall bang, and he's not going to get it. Navi have no money though, and all Happy has to lose is armor and tech nine. But he could do significant damage if he can get a few kills here. Oh, he, he gets it. The ace for Flamey. There you have it. The slaughter. Flamey on 23 kills at the moment, topping for his team, as is Happy with 23 kills of his own. For NVS, this is going to be a B play. They decide to meet it bravely, head on. And that ended up costing him. Now it's going to be Fallen just, well, again, charging through, but Device is ready and waiting for him. Fallen, if he gets the angle wrong, it's going to be painful, but no. Plays it correctly. And Device has no target to work with. In the meantime, still four players gathered up. There is no aggro push towards T apartments this time around. Instead, it's just going to be waiting in bedroom with Fur. Of all the rounds, of all the ways in which TSM could lose this game, I feel like losing to three sets, C set 75s, a 5 7, and a max 7 would be. That would be devastating as well, wouldn't it? That would be breaking. Worst possible way to lose. Fallen again alone on the other side. Can they spot him? They can, and that's an opening if I've seen one. 50 seconds left, and they're going to charge on through. Are they realizing the bomb is coming over there as well? There's nobody in the B bomb site right now, and TSM, they're going to find out. 99% chance this is going to be overtime. Yeah. At this point, it's almost an unwinnable situation for Luminosity. Do they check this corner for Kerrigan? It's all going to come down on this man. Keep it his cool. Cold. Did a good job. He did actually check, but he gets caught point blank with that Galil. Not able to get the job done. Now it's going to be FNX. Just charging through. Gets one. Gets two. No! Is this actually happening? Uh, one rifle and the flash is there. Kerrigan there to lock it down, but it is going to come down to Fur in a 1v1. He's got no kit, so he has to move so lightning fast. All he has to do is hide in the back line, staying alive. It's all that matters for. He sprays. He gets the headshot, but there might not be enough time. Is it going to happen? He's trying to get that diffuse through. And I think that just might be. Oh. It's not going to happen. Oh. He's not going to cut it. There's no time. Two seconds short. Oh. No chance. Oh. Look at the reaction. We're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Relief on TSM's side. A two-second decider here in the semi-finals of DreamHack Winter 2015. Oh, the same spot, with, but with much more utility to work with. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground there. It's cold. Oh, oh what? A jumping double from Cold. What is there going on right now? How does he do this? Cold has saved Luminosity with the all play. Unthinkable scenes there on the B apartments. They needed a huge play, but that was something I'm never going to see ever again. Right, Ridiculous. could do some damage here in the back of the site with the USP. He's going to be able to get the plot, and they didn't clear out the site. That's the bomb down. Now otherwise gets another one. Things very topsy-turvy here with NIP and Dignitas on this pistol as Get Right and Freiburg are trying to salvage the situation, leaving it all on to Get Right now as Zipnix is going to lock down the upper area. So fantastic grenade from him. This device is... Peering over from the bomb side itself, get right does have some time to work with here. And Zipnix and Device, though, they all have excellent positions. And the bomb, get right with the first frag. One more to find. As Device knows where he is now. Battle of the minds, battle of the aim here between get right and Device. There's the peak. 
Get right down. Almost half his health. And oh, another bit of damage there. Get right's getting very low. Device with a slight advantage. This is a standoff right now between these two players. So 15 seconds is left. But Get right just has to get the frag. In he goes around from headshot. Can he catch Device off guard? Seven seconds. Finds Device. Bit of extra damage going in for the kill. Pulls out the knife. Oh, he gets the knife. What a way to end that standoff. Excellent stuff there. NIP win the pistol in the most remarkable of ways. And uh, I'm lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a very 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 long battle. That was, but that was pretty. That was awesome.